Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Purgatory Goddess Rising, issue number one by Chaos Comics. Uh, art by Mike Deodato Jr. Now, this is a continuation of the Purgatory Dracula storyline that I have somewhere. I have the complete set, but I couldn't find it, you know, some, well, let's say my, my comics a little bit, um, they are not really organized, so uh, I'm working on that. So I couldn't get it, so, but on the other hand, it's not really important to, to this story, except that, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just I'm going to show you. So we are going to Italy, to the Vatican City, and the Pope here, or I believe he's a Pope or some kind of a powerful figure, um, says that his master, Dracula, is not there anymore, and... Uh, they, I don't know, um, know that Purgatory is the one that, um, you know, defeated him. And uh, and they're probably coming for them because, I don't know, Dracula wants to rule the world, etc. And the Vatican is part of that. But um, they still want to, you know, rise to power now that he's, the, you know, there anymore. And since Purgatory, they well, he helped or they helped Purgatory to defeat Dracula, I think... She think, he thinks, well, um, I can manipulate her. But then uh, they hear a screaming sound and there's a woman coming. And the woman says, well, she's here. You need to hide. You need to help me. And then these, these people are looking around and thinks what's going on. And then uh, Purgatory uh, bursts in and then screams that at this woman called Satrina. And she's basically hunting her. Uh, what I didn't know is that at the time that all of these, um, you know, people are vampires. Uh, well, that makes sense. So um, uh, when the the Pope, well, he's not really the Pope, but you know what I mean. Um, and Satrina are just escaping and, and, and Purgatory is uh, screaming that she's going to get her and going to kill her. And all these people are going to die. Uh, meanwhile, um, the Pope leads Katrina to the catacombs and they are seeing, you know, a bunch of gold and coins, uh, uh, you know, in some kind of a chamber. And um, she says, what is this? And then the Pope says, well, it's all the donations of the many, of many seeking salvation and the ability to finance almost anything. So um, he says, um, we are safe here. And then Purgatory bursts in, screaming still, uh, but Katrina was a deceitful biatch, if I can say that, uh, already take care of uh, of the problem. And she is, you know, being a, uh, how do you say, Trojan horse. And these two are working together. Um, and now, um, and, and Purgatory says, you're a vile, deceitful bitch. It exhilarates me. Meanwhile, there is something happening on the other plane in the cosmos. I'm not, you know, skipping a few pages. You want to don't see too much of it. So, meanwhile, in this um, building, I, I believe it's still somewhere in the Vatican. Um, anyway, um, so they are celebrating their victory, but also the wealth, because that was the goal in, in, in you know, initially, along with the blood sucking. And um, so Katrina is very happy, but uh, Purgatory is not... Uh, you know, amused at all because she is now the most, arguably, the most powerful vampire on the planet. But it doesn't make her happy. She's basically more annoyed than ever. And why? Because she feels trapped. She doesn't rule. Uh, well, she says, I'm not rule. I'm not destined to rule the humans. I'm destined to rule gods. And she doesn't know how to ascend to that plane and how to do it. Um, but then and they have a... Uh, you know, Katrina says, well, let me make you feel better. So they have a, uh, let's say, sexy time with each other. And uh, Purgatory cannot sleep. And she is, you know, trying to figure out what to do. She's puzzled. And, she, and you know, her her plans for domination is haunting her. So they, she is flying to, um, well, uh, what's her, her headquarters of ISIS International. Now, I believe she has some connections to that, probably in previous issues, but I don't know the whole, you know, storyline there. Um, by the way, Mike Deodato's art is phenomenal, looks really good. He is a, he's a top artist, although I must say his latest work is 
not for me. He changed his art style a lot. It's it's still recognizable that you say, oh, well, this is Mark Diodato Jr., but he changed it so much, I don't really like it anymore somehow. Just look it up on the internet and then you find out what I mean. Um, so she is uh, going to ISIS International through the catacombs or, I don't know, sewers or whatever. And there is some things on the wall written and she thinks that she can find what's written on the wall um, to find out what she's going to do next. I mean, she says that um, um, that the paintings are part of, of the solution. Meanwhile, Katrina, she has plans of her own. She knows what uh, what um, Purgatory is doing. And then she is, you know, making a pentagram and using spells. Um, so um, Purgatory, still in the sewers, tries to figure out what all these pictures on the wall means. And, you know, we see a little bit of her past about the vampires that she created, about Jade, about Kabbalah. And then she is ripping open her veins because she is using uh, one of her powers... And that's called blood magic. And with blood magic, she can, you know, look into the future or look past the veil of reality, if you will. It's a really cool power. She can do way much more with that. And then she sees her enemies like Lady Death, like Dracula, like um, Lucifer, like Raph, who created her. Uh, even Katrina. Again, look at this. The art looks stunning. Um, meanwhile, uh, Katrina... Uh, completes the spell and then she is summoning something and um, that helps her to ascend into godhood as well but I think she's gonna make a mistake because she says now demon bow before me and listen to your mistress and the monster says my what and basically she says you do as I say I'm gonna destroy you with a wave of my hand and he says really okay Interesting. Um, so another cool looking shot of Purgatory seeing glimpses of future, of the future, of things is what's going to happen. Um, so that leads probably in the storyline after this event because there's a four issue. Uh, the Goddess Rising is, have, is four issues, this event. Um, and then it goes into another storyline, I guess. Uh, so we see, I don't know, um, people from... I don't know, Val, Val, Valhalla, I guess. Vikings, monsters, uh, whatever. Raph even. And she also see that uh, Satrina is, is, you know, plotting against her. And uh, as she's, as you can see her, try to kill her. Uh, that makes her enraged so much that she is um, going to fly to uh, to the location where Katrina is. I mean, where they slept together. But then, as you can see here, um, uh, Katrina is still boasting some about, hey, you know, shut up, uh, I'm your master, or whatever. And then uh, this creature says uh, something like, uh, well, basically he demonstrates his powers and blows up the whole building, which looks really cool, and there's some raindrops falling. Uh, and then, just through the rubble, uh, Purgatory comes, uh, screams uh, again, um, but then towards Katrina that she's going to kill her. And um, she said, I will grind your foul bones to a bloody paste and feed them to jackals. Come face me, you whore. And then Katrina comes in panic. But then instead of helping her, she rips out her heart and she's dead. Which looks really cool. And then in the end, uh, a voice says, I saved the kill for you. I knew you would enjoy it. Hello, mother, he says. She says, who? Looks really cool. Looks like a fetus or something or a newborn baby. It's great stuff. Uh, art looks stunning. And I must say, uh, what I like about um, Purgatory is, uh, I mean, she is vile. She's vicious. She's relentless. She's cruel. She's a vampire. She's also a demon or, or maybe a goddess or whatever. Uh, she has multiple things rolled into one. She has cool powers. And uh, I also like that she is using very colorful, foul language, which reminds me of the old Dracula comics from, you know, the 70s and the 80s. I mean, even, you know, Vlad Dracula is, is a wayward words, but um, the wayward words, I mean, 
more eloquent, if that's the, 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 the word I'm looking for. Well, uh, purgatory is more foul and, and, and you know, bitter. Uh, Dracula can do that, do that as well. I mean, I'm talking about Marvel's Dracula, by the way. Uh, but uh, Mark Wolfman, and um, he, he's the writer uh, of that uh, time period, of that, you know, Marvel's Dracula from that time period. Uh, Gene Colin is the artist, fantastic. Uh, he has more, I don't know, he's, his in, that Dracula's insults was more refined. Uh, also vicious, but more restrained, because um, Vlad is a ruler. He is the king of vampires. He is royalty, if you will. Well, Purgatory is, of was, a slave in Egypt. And all, all she wants is power and nothing more than that. Power is a life along with the blood. That, that's what all she craved for. Um, and she uses some other colorful insults, which I really like. But, you know, it reminds me of, you know, Marvel's Dracula. Which, and I mean, seeing his insults is way better. I, I think, in my opinion. Anyways, enough rambling about things that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Issue 2, 3, and 4 are coming. Don't worry. Stick around. Um, yeah, I hope you like my video. Share it, if you will. Subscribe to my channel. i see you next time. Bye-bye.